For almost 50 years, the Range Rover has been the go-to option for anyone looking for luxury motoring twinned with Go Anywhere ability. Owned by royalty and celebs alike, it's proved to be one of the most successful brands on the planet. Fast forward to 2005, and Land Rover made the decision to tap into the Range Rover brand by adding a more road bias offering called Sport. While still being a capable off-roader, it was set up to offer a more engaging on-the-road experience and take on the likes of the BMW X5 and Audi Q7. Now, in its second generation, this latest Range Rover Sport still offers all the flair and on-road ability of its predecessor. But now, it's offering improved levels of technology, including a plug-in hybrid version, so it's a little greener too. Some may think it's garish or overly flash, but there are very few people out there who will tell you the Range Rover Sport isn't a particularly handsome beast. Even in base spec, it is a striking proposition with 20-inch alloy wheels and matrix LED headlights catching the eye. The TD V8 engine is only available in autobiography dynamic spec, which sees the car upgraded to include a more advanced sound system, 22-inch wheels and a slide-in panoramic roof. Inside, the dash is every bit as premium as you'd expect for a car with a Range Rover badge on the bonnet. The seats are leather, naturally all fully electric and heated. The steering wheel is heated and there's a dual zone climate control so getting your body to the right temperature is a doddle. The dashboard is dominated by the Touch Pro Duro touchscreen system which sees a pair of 10 inch high definition screens used to display infotainment and any additional information and functions you may need on the go. In addition, the traditional dials are done away with in favour of a 12 inch interactive driver display which projects driving information as well as entertainment functions and safety data. The interior is spacious regardless of whether you are sat in the front or the back. The sloping roofline does restrict headroom in the back for taller passengers, but it's more than sufficient for most. In five seat configuration, the Range Rover Sport is a class leader for the boot space with 784 litres of space available. With the second row of seats folded, this expands to a mightily impressive 1,761 litres. Of course, the point of the Sport is to offer an engaging on-road experience, and it certainly does that. This SD V8 is equally impressive at wafting up and down a motorway or A-road, and it even handles twistier roads with a surprising level of voice. Comfort is a high priority across the Range Rover Sport lineup. The air suspension on the car really does make bumps a non-issue, particularly on the lower grade models, such as the entry-level HSE trim, which comes with the smaller 20-inch wheels. The SD V8 engine is a 4.4 litre diesel V8. It will achieve 27.7 miles per gallon. But given the size and power of the motor, that isn't particularly bad. And of course, when it comes to effortless pace, the SD V8 is about as good an engine as you could wish for in a car like this. So this juncture is where we use this wonderful facility here at Eastner for its intended purpose. In theory, this car spec sheet tells you it's still capable of climbing every mountain and forwarding every stream. And I'm pleased to say that it can. It's helped along the way by many, many gizmos, such as a hill descent control, which helps you down the trickier slopes. And the electronic air suspension does a great job of helping you manage these conditions too. There's also a transfer box, which gives you the access to low range gears, an absolute invaluable feature when the going gets rough. The car's technical reach even expands to wading through water. The car can wade to a depth of 850 millimeters. And if you get close to that point, it will alert you and display handy information on the touchscreen. The luxury SUV segment is certainly a competitive one, but the Range Rover still benefits from a degree of ubiquity. The phrase luxury SUV often leads to the image of the Range Rover appearing in one's head, and the Range Rover Sport does a brilliant job of putting the main model qualities into a sleeker package. And while it is adept at looking good in the city and handling itself well on the road, it still comes alive when you present it with a trail. 
certainly the adventurous spirit traditionally associated with Land Rover remains in the Range Rover Sport. <laughs>